Many video game characters originated in the 8-bit era. Some have awesome weapons, like the ability to shoot fire or swing swords. Some are even able to copy their opponent's abilities. Kirby, the young star warrior. And Mega Man, the blue bomber. Which is the best copycat fighter? We'll see, as they battle to survive the arena of death. Let's start with the youngest first. A thousand years ago, an intense war waged throughout the universe, the Star Warriors battled the infamous and powerful nightmare for the freedom of everything that ever was. The Star Warriors claimed victory, but many lives were lost. Only two were left, the heroic Meta Knight, who fought in the war and barely made it out with his life and an infant Star Warrior destined to awaken a millennium later and save the galaxy, Kirby. Our famous pink hero crash landed on the planet Popstar, the most confusingly shaped planet of all time, and has fought and battled enemies and protected Dreamland from disasters and his arch enemy, King Didi. Don't let Kirby's small and cute appearance fool you. He is a ravenous cannibal who thrives on the blood of mass murder. Kirby is also an extremely powerful puffball. His trademark power is his inhale ability which sucks almost everything in with a powerful vortex. Kirby is immensely light, which allows him to essentially become a living balloon. But believe it or not, that isn't what Kirby needs to do if he wants to get somewhere quick. His personal vehicle is the Warp Star, which can travel at faster than light speeds. But what makes Kirby such a deadly warrior is his copy ability. With it, Kirby's form and power change based on what he's eating. For example, Fire Kirby has pyrokinetic abilities and can survive all manner of heat. Ice Kirby can freeze his opponents solid, and Hammer Kirby is the world's best whack-a-mole player. Fighter Kirby is an expert at martial arts, and Stone Kirby is near indestructible. Sard Kirby obtains a blade which he can use to slash at the enemy. Sard Kirby is a master swordsman and can fire sword beams from it that can cut through anything. He can even send a wave of energy into the sword for it to become the powerful Ultra Sword. Finally, there's Mike Kirby, whose singing talent is so awful, it actually kills those who hear it. Bomb Kirby throws explosives at his enemies, and Suplex Kirby has impressive judo skills. And should Kirby inhale a miracle fruit, he will become Hypernova Kirby, capable of devouring worlds. And when Kirby absorbs his own warp star, he can summon the Star Rod, a staff that can destroy evil with ease and even most of the moon. Even without an added ability, Kirby still has absurd strength. He can throw monsters 30 times his size to the sun, punch holes through the earth and crack planet Popstar in half. Kirby isn't just strong, he's ridiculously durable. He can survive being crushed under thousands of tons of pressure and even explosions massive enough to eclipse the entire world. He's even fast enough to run on water. Unfortunately, Kirby has yet to fully mature as a star warrior, so don't expect genius strategies. Also, one bad hit, and there goes his copy ability. Overall, Kirby is a young warrior with the ability to copy and use an opponent's powers. While he isn't very strategic, he has tons of raw power. No more pink, let's go blue. In the futuristic year of 2000x a new age of robotics was donning spearheaded by DR Light and DR Wily. To do things too dangerous for people like cutting down trees and being cold. So they made a bunch of robot masters to do these things. Wily, jealous of Light's notoriety stole all of Light's robots except for two. Roll, a house cleaning robo girl, and Rock, Light's surrogate son. Seeing his father fall to ruin, Rock stepped up to take on the burden of saving the world himself. But first he'd have to become the blue bomber we all know and love, Mega Man Mega Man's new body is composed of Ceritanium. An alloy lighter and stronger than Titanium. Mega Man is incredibly durable able to survive incredible damage. He can run faster than the average human despite weighing almost 220 pounds, and possesses enormous strength able to output 2575.35 horsepower at his maximum level. Mega Man has superhuman reflexes, a superhuman brain and unlimited energy. Mega Man has a ton of weapons. The Mega Buster is a cannon of unlimited shots that can shoot through a wall with one shot, if he needs more firepower he can charge it up for a stronger shot. If he needs Ben more power he can turn his other hand into another Mega Buster and fire both of them at once. Metal Blade is deadly, razor sharp, and accurate. Thrown with blazing speed and numbers, there is almost nothing these blades can't cut through. Magnet Missile is a magnetic explosive attack. Mirror Buster is a reflective shield that sends all incoming projectiles back where they came from, whether they be rockets, lasers, or anything of the sort. 
Black hole bomb fires a black hole that sucks in foes and projectiles alike, maintaining its pull for around 10 seconds. Magma Bazooka spews out three shots in a widespread formation, making it easy to strike opponents. Firestorm shoots fireballs and conjures a flame shield. Freeze Cracker fires liquid nitrogen shots that can scatter into six parts, this gun is rather dangerous. Capable of freezing enemies in their tracks and even solidifying lava, there's not much it can't do. Thunder Beam fires 500,000 voltage lightning in three directions capable of piercing through walls and striking foes above, below, and in front. Mega Man may have tons of abilities, but they all only have a limited amount of ammo. But despite his limitations, Mega Man remains one of the most powerful and versatile robotic heroes. Overall, Mega Man has tons of deadly technology to use in combat. However, each ability can only be used for a certain amount of time. That battle blew me away. Mega Man may have started off with more weaponry and better strategy, but that's all Mega Man has to offer. The Blue Bomber struggles but barely lifts up Wily's castle. However, Kirby can crack a planet while having the fighter ability and hurled marks into a planet-sized object, destroying it. If that's not enough, Kirby has been able to float around while carrying King Dedede's castle before he even had copy abilities. Mega Man has dodged asteroids while flying through the asteroid belt, putting him at faster than light reactions. Kirby's Warp Star can travel through galaxies in seconds, putting him at massively faster than light travel and reaction speeds. He can even get it by speed dial. Also, since most of Mega Man's weapons are projectiles, Kirby can simply inhale them and send them right back at him. It's a move Kirby was designed to have right from the beginning. And don't forget Crash Ability, which is a nuke, and the Hypernova Ability, which is an actual black hole unlike the black hole bomb. There were pretty much overpowered, 
and Kirby did not even have to use them in the fight. And don't forget that Wily or even Sunstar doesn't even compare to reality warpers that Kirby had to deal with, including Marks and Megalar. The Pink Puffball survives planet-sized attacks, while Mega Man can get killed by simple spikes. With Kirby having a massive advantage in strength, speed, durability, and feats, it doesn't end well for Mega Man. Mega Man tried hard, but it was just another curb stomp. The winner is Kirby.